Uh, hello, uh, my name is Ivan Pozo Iaz, otherwise known as Atreo. And uh, this uh, video for today will be a, um, a reading from my first book that I first published in 2007 on um, angelic uh, channeled uh, spiritual wisdom. Since I'm an angelic oracle imagineer, that's what I call it. But I'm mostly more of a clairvoyant writer that's been uh, channeling the angels by automatic writing for about 21 years time. I've written over 2400 what I call statements. But uh, in my first book, uh, Jewels of Truth of the Soul Odyssey Within, uh, published by uh, iUniverse, um, and I have three books in the series. This is what the first book looks like. It's my smallest of the three books. It's about uh, 96 pages. Actually, sorry, 83 pages. And um, it has 365 of these uh, channeled uh, wisdom statements. Um, but, uh, and, and uh, as you notice, uh, some of these are one liners, sort of like the spiritual memes that are really popular nowadays. And uh, but in my second and third books, uh, the statements get longer, so you can see how I progress as a writer, or as a channeler. Uh, I've only done one of these videos for the first book, so I hope to do uh, a second video because uh, my other um, Jewels of Truth book readings have uh, more videos for the other books. So. I'll just read maybe about a dozen or so. I'll just jump around a li li randomly. Okay. And this book is available in paperback. It's also in ebook form as PDF for the Nook, as EPUB, I think it's called, and uh, Mobi for the Kindle. So, and um, I'll just get started. I'm on uh, page 34 of the paperback on the topic of hope. And I'll just go down the length of the page. Hope is never in vain when filled with unconditional love. The next one on hope. Hope is unconditional. You just need to give it permission to reach you. And now I go to the next topic on the same page on, of hoarding. When there's too much of everything in your home, you can't find anything specifically. That is what I term as a pack rat syndrome. And then the next topic is horror. And you notice uh, these are not just spiritual topics. Uh, uh, these are varied topics. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm very eclectic in nature like that. Man has created so many horrors that need not be due to the selfish gains of little men in the unholy spirit of lust and, and or fear. And the last topic for this page, humility. Humility through wisdom is one of the greatest graces of God. So, let me jump around. Uh, I'm on the beginning of the E section, page 18. And I'll start off with uh, education, which has uh, two uh, one-liners here. Educate yourself with knowledge and wisdom. The more you learn, the more you earn in life. The next one. Education with wisdom and knowledge set us free in all manners of limitation. The next topic is on ego. Man has been more inspired with his ego than being inspired with his divinity, which has caused untold suffering in history remembered, and especially history that has been forgotten due to the sloth or by convenience. And uh, the next topic is, uh, since I'm a gamer, I, I, it's sort of uh, that topic got included in here. Electronic online games. The mystery of massively multiplayer online games for players is they invest their souls in their virtual online journey. This leads them beyond entertainment but the evolving definition of who they are and shall become as people. The last topic here is on empowerment. 
Whoever has the empowerment in oneself can play the game of life on a scale that dwarfs their previous life. So, let me see. Okay, we're on the topic of grace. Uh, I'll start on uh, page 28. In our world of fierce competition, in so much it is seen as great to win and for many others to lose. This is actually just the selfish will of mankind at work. The higher solution is to build yourself up without harming yourself or others. Then while your fellow man and woman compete against you, you freely build them up as well with their permission, which they will accuse you of sinister motives. Finally, you build yourself up for whatever benevolent God you worship. By doing so, you will bring untold blessings into your life that will be the act of unconditional grace. You will always pass those who only use competition, which will bring unconditional pain for themselves, whether as victor or loser. Continue with the next one. Meticulous, measured, and gentle, simple things done with a heartfelt intent and weighed with balance lead to earmarks beyond genius. It is the elegant stature of our souls. It is truly pure grace, full of life. And the last one here on grace. Anything done with love in your heart that eases you for the moment is blessed for you, including myself and our world. Since a little bit more of grace has entered this earth, where all the love is precious, even the tiny droplets that weigh more than any gold fashioned by mankind. Thank you for your shared gift with God, since when it reaches Him, it reaches all of us that very combined instant. It builds our lives, and even more, our souls. Okay, I'm on page 46, uh, section L. And I'll start on the topic of light. Once you've seen the light, you can't go back into darkness, for its emptiness will unsettle any who attempt to return to such a voided condition. And the next L topic is living. If you follow your will, you may just exist, but if you follow God's will, you really live, with an ex exclamation point. Next one in the lineup, do you think of yourself as in insignificant in this world? You are not, for we all are still valued as a small part of our world, as co-creators in God's plan of orchestration for all of eternity. The next one over. It is braver to live than to die. Anyone can die, but very few truly live. And the last one for this topic of living. We are made in the image of God on an eternal soul level. We are made in the image of our earthly parents on a physical level only. However, many do not notice this dis distinction in life. And this one. I kind of like because it speaks volumes and is so short on the topic of loneliness. I even have one of my spiritual memes, um, picture memes on, on this one. Lonely people know how to please. So, let me do one more page. Okay, uh, we'll do more on grace I guess we jump back to page 29 my past and future are climaxing now in a blessed union of the present tense eternal follow it until it rises its course like a tsunami wave of love which will link up to others if you allow it by choice if based on benevolence it is a divine domino effect across eternity 
Next one over. At the edge of knowledge there is wisdom. At the edge of wisdom there is God smiling at the pilgrim's arrival. The next one. God knows how to take the most corrupted lemon and make the most divine sweet tasting lemonade. That talent is known as absolute perfection in the spectrum of infinite light we call grace. Next one over. I surrendered this dream we call a, a world to God. Funny thing is, I'm starting to see the land beyond the horizon. It actually looks like a fluid fairy tale of epic proportions. Much like our night sleeping periods we call dreams, where the eternal rhythm of life never began and always was. The next one over. One cannot possess God as the infinite of creation. However, all are welcomed by His grace to become like Him. In doing so, the splendor of love is released everywhere without reservation. The next line over. Grace is God's courier of hope fulfilled in all endeavors. That's a pretty good one. The next one. The way of wisdom is the beginning to map out or catalog the jewels of truth. The one may have sought and gained from life by observing and admitting what you do not know, thus asking pointed questions by listening to yourself and your peers. This is where your turmoil and theirs, by any account, is swiftly turned into grace for the good of all including your very own. And this series, of course, is called Jews of Truth, so I alluded to that. And I guess that's a good place to stop. Um, again, I've been reading from my first book, published in 2007. And uh, this is a reading from Jewels of Truth, A Soul Odyssey Within from the paperback and it's also available in a Nook, EPUB, uh, PDF and of course a Kindle uh, as a Mobi form format and it's uh, published by iUniverse and uh, if you wish to learn more about my writings uh, my website is jewelsoftruth.us that's jewelsoftruth.us please like the video if you've watched up to this point I would appreciate it and, uh, and please also uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you could uh, get notified when the next video uh, pops up. So uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.